What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, I told you guys I wasn't going to do a reading, and I, I didn't last night. Um, but um, I actually went to bed, and it was wonderful. Um, but I got up, and then I got a channel, so I have the time to do it. So doing it, just saying. Um, it's for somebody out there and somebody needs to hear it. So, um, you plug your life however it resonates. Thanks everybody for all the new subscribers. You guys are just the best. Um, we're almost to 10 3, almost. Um, not quite, but almost. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I really do. Single mom of two kids. So, it really, really helps. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, okay. So, it's a free general reading. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. So, um, the channel message I received was um, a water sign is trying very, very, very hard to ruin your business, tank it into the ground, but it's about to backfire on them energetically in a huge way. Um, that's what I heard. So you plug it in your life, however it resonates, if it resonates for you, um, you could be any sign. You could be a water sign, fire sign, earth sign, or um, or a um, air sign. But apparently a um, water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, masculine or femme, I didn't hear masculine or femme, um, they can have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard they're basically um, trying to ruin your business. Um, so I think you own this business. If this resonates for you, I think you own, I, I mean, you have to own the business or you co-own it, however that resonates. Um, I feel it could either be an LLC or a sole proprietorship, either co-owning or owning, like sole proprietorship, however that resonates. But, um, but there's a water sign out there somewhere in the universe. However, this plugs in your life. Of course, everybody owns on different time of life paths. You have to plug the situations in your life. However, it resonates. If it don't resonate, if it don't resonate, maybe you know somebody. Um, maybe you know a, know a malicious water sign that's doing this to somebody or is attempting to do this to somebody. I mean, I don't know. You plug in how it resonates or maybe you are the malicious water sign doing this to somebody or attempting to do this to somebody. I don't know. But however it resonates... Um, I heard um, they're trying to ruin your business, basically. They're trying to ruin your business, but it's about to energetically backfire on them. So energetically backfire, meaning the karma is going to come back on them in some shape, form, or fashion it, through the universe, uh, through energetic means. So, um, you know, that really could mean a million different things for a million different people. Their health could start declining. Um, their money could start tanking down. They could experience some kind of loss in their life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they, uh, they could get ill. Somebody connected to them could get ill. I mean, um, they, I mean, I didn't hear this by any stretch, but they could end up going to jail over some kind of criminal behavior. If it is criminal behavior involved, I didn't hear there was, but I mean, some kind of negative um, karma coming to them is what I'm trying to say. Um, because they are messing with you or attempting to mess with you and it's your business. So your livelihood, your, um, what you've worked very, very hard for, I'm assuming it's not illegal, like prostitution or any, or any kind of crazy shit like that. I didn't hear it was, um, I'm assuming it's not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have protected. Okay, we have main mail on the bottom of the deck. Number one could be very significant um, in your life, possibly. Number one, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number. Number one, main mail. For some of these water signs, they're about to lose custody of a child, some children, some their ch child or ch and children, some not their child and children.
some they're about to get very very ill quickly seriously some huge financial losses because of theft oh my god so you plug it in how it resonates Whew. okay so there's a lot going on here um some evil malicious water signs out there in the universe i'll tell you that um masculine or femme um they're trying to come after your business um but there sounds like there's at least three in the universe just seriously um i heard um some of these water signs are going to start getting very ill very quickly and seriously ill so i mean that could mean hospitalization or it could not be i mean you have to plug the situations in your life how it fits we've had a lot of surges of c19 in a lot of areas um you know i was getting spiritual downloads about the c19 um i think like a month ago or three weeks ago or something like that all of a sudden it's boom um all over the place so it could be that or it could be some other kind of illness i heard severely ill so it could be any kind of you know illness um whatever it is um to these evil malicious water signs um some huge financial losses because of theft so they have been they've sold from you in the past it sounds like or somebody else and now it's about to energetically backfire on them in the universe and now they're about to experience theft um and some i heard they're about to get custody taken away some of ch uh, one child some of two plus children from them and some they're about to get custody taken away of a child for some and some two plus children of a child or children that's not biologically theirs so i feel they are like guardian or temporary guardians of um, these child or children um in some shape form or fashion because i heard some of them they're not their children so they might be um they might be foster parents they might be temporary guardians um they might be guardians um etc cetera, etc cetera. but for the ones that are not biologically theirs but some they are biologically theirs um, so you plug it in your life, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, we have main mail. A particular masculine energy is about to deliver very, very, very important information. Some it's a masculine energy, some it's a feminine taking on heavy masculine energy. That's going to help you out hugely. some help grow your business some help you in other avenues in the community okay um so you plug in how it resonates so this uh, main male energy is very uh positive in your life um whoever this is uh for you business owner whether you own an llc or a sole proprietorship this masculine energy is a very positive person in your life but for some, you know, everybody takes on masculine and energy. And that's just the truth for real, for real. So for some, it's a actual masculine energy. For some, it's a femme that takes on heavy masculine. So, you know, I'm a chick, but I take on masculine energy a lot because I've been a single mom for so long. So, I mean, just because we're pulling up main male doesn't have to be a dude looks in the 30s or 40s. It could be a chick. Um, chick in her 50s. It could be a chick in her 40s. Chick in her 60s. Chick in her 20s. Chick in her 30s. I mean, take it on masculine energy or actual do. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but he, um, he or she taking on um, inner, um, masculine energy is positive in your life, whoever you are, business owner. Um, I, I'm a feeling this is a positive business. I don't feel this is prostitution or something pray pray like that. Um, that helps the community in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel it's something very positive that helps the community and helps the world. And that's probably why uh, this water sign's pissed um, because they don't want to see you do well. They have evil, malicious, and hatred in their heart for you for some strange reason, whoever you are to them. For some, you could be like um, maybe their um, child's ex. You know, people just automatically hate children's ex, exes for some reason, some do. Um, or you could just be uh, just doing well in life or getting to do well in life and they just don't want you to do well however that resonates it's really sad um but however that resonates but so this is positive um some i heard they're going to spread um your business it sounds like information on your business in a positive way to help it grow so this masculine energy or this femme energy that takes on heavy masculine is going to help your business 
grow. I think by word of mouthing your business or spreading your business, I think by word of mouth, for some it could be on social media. And some they're going to spread something, some kind of information on you in a positive light in the community. It's going to help you out in a positive way. And a fraud, huge fraud is about to be exposed. Stole Pell Grant money. Water sign energy. This person is about to be very integral in sharing that. Whoa, holy crap. So you plug in how it resonates. Ooh. Okay, so this person is very integral in helping you out, but they don't like the water sign. I'll tell you that right now. Whoever this water sign is to them, um, this femme takes on heavy masculine or the masculine. Uh, but apparently one of these water signs, I heard they're a huge fraud. They have stolen Pell Grant money um, and they're about to be exposed in a huge way. So the information out in the community could be whether it's a femme takes on heavy masculine, whether that's you doing this or somebody you're connected to or you masculine or somebody you're connected to. This water sign has stole some kind of Pell Grant money. Now, Pell Grant money, for anybody who doesn't know, it's money that um, the government disperses out if you meet certain requirements for education. I've had a Pell Grant before. Um, I know how it works. So, um, and there's guidelines you have to meet for the, for the Pell Grant. So, um, but this, I think the same person is trying to drive your business into the ground. I think they might have maybe stole your Pell Grant Maybe your social security number or green card number or personal information for Pell, they want to use Pell, your Pell Grant money um, or somebody else's. But somehow this water sign that's trying to destroy your business for some has stolen some kind of somebody else's Pell Grant information. Um, Pell Grant, I think, green card number, social number, information, et cetera, et cetera, for their educational benefits. But that's highly illegal. It's about to backfire on them in a huge, huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Woo! I mean, you can't do that. You can't steal other people's educational benefits. You can't steal other people's anything. Okay, now we have mature man upright. Number five could be very significant. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Um, it could be a possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible social security card number, uh, possible um, jersey number, number five. Very mature energy here. This immature water sign is talking your business so negatively into the ground. But a mature energy is about to help you out in a huge way. Speak the truth. Oh my God, this is terrible. So you plug in and how it resonates. So this water sign is very immature. Now, they could be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, but they're very immature. So, they're mature man or woman reversed. You know, it could be a masculine energy that's very immature or a fin that takes on heavy masculine, but they're coming in very immature. But the one that's about to help you out, which I think is that main male energy or main female, um, masculine, um, fin takes on heavy masculine or masculine. But whoever this is, they're popping up as masculine energy. So, you know, they're taking charge, basically, whether they're a femme or a masculine. Um, whoever, if this is you, you know, you have to plug yourself in the scenario wherever you fit. Are you the person about to help out? Are you the immature person that's about to uh, spread lies and slander and gossip into some uh, into the universe about somebody? Um, are you the business owner? You know, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I heard the um, mature person uh, knows the truth. They know the truth, and they're about to... Um, spread it and um it's about to get this one person particular well several people in trouble people are about to lose their kids um uh people are about i mean the whole stealing pill grant money i don't know how people i don't know how that's handled i don't know if they have to go to prison for that um jail and then prison i don't i mean obviously they'd have to pay it back um i don't know if there's like penal um charges on that like criminal charges i don't know I've never stolen money from somebody. Um, so I, I don't know.
but um, that's terrible. It's terrible. Privileged lady upright, number 12. Number 12 could be a very significant number in somebody's life. It could be a possible age of you, uh, of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible social security card number, um, possible green card number, number 12. Keep working hard. Okay, I heard keep working hard. So you're pulling up as a privileged lady upright. Now you could be a femme or you could be a masculine takes on femme energy. Whoever you are, business owner, I feel this is your energy. Um, now you could be a business owner and do three side hustles. You could be a business owner and own other businesses. You could be a business owner and have a job out in the 3D. I mean, it really could resonate in million different ways for million different people. There's lots of different, you know, people, some people have 10 different income streams. Um, hopefully legal, just saying. Um, but yeah, so um, privileged lady. So um, you're pulling up as privileged lady, whether you're a femme energy or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. So I heard you keep working hard. So on your business, your side hustles, your other business, your 3D job, if you have one, two, or three. Um, just, um, I feel they're trying to ruin your reputation so you don't get business. And I didn't hear that in the spiritual realm. That's just what I'm feeling. I feel they're trying to ruin your reputation. But just rise above it. Um, rise above it. Because when you go down to their negativity, um, it doesn't help situations any. Ever. And that's just the truth. All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste.